This video is going to cover using the Undaunted and Rondo Tip Profiler. So we're starting from a blank here that has been wrapped and dried. And the first thing we're gonna do is ream it to fit down to the, the red tube on my reamer. You can check on your mandrel um, to fit it down to the line. And then once you've done that, you're gonna wanna soak it for a few minutes, at least three to five. So I've got some water here with some other reeds soaking. We're gonna soak it before we then clip it um, at 28 to 29 millimeters from the butt of, or from the collar of the reed. Okay, so we gently ream these. These are dry. Remember, they're dry when we ream them. And then we're gonna soak them for a little while, clean up my mess. Now they've soaked for about three to five minutes or a little longer. Um, and what we're gonna do is measure from the collar. Um, I like to do 28 millimeters because I know that my reeds will play more in tune at 28, although you can do 29 if you think they might be a little sharp. So I'm gonna measure 28 here, mark it at the tube, and I'm gonna use my tip clipper to clip it right at 28. Make sure it's on there straight. Gently clip the tip and then I'm gonna put it back in to soak just a little longer. soak. So now that my clipped reamed reeds have soaked um, at least five minutes, I'm going to place them on the Andante Rondo um, tip profiler by putting them on the mandrel and then very gently sliding them onto the plaque, making sure they're centered and up to the line. tighten this screw right here. Okay, now when we put the carriage down, we're gonna make sure that we make it a little bit higher because we wanna just take off a little bit at a time. So um, right now it's not taking any off, so I'm gonna turn this towards the minus sign until it takes just a little bit of cane off. Um, if I had it all the way down, it would take off too big of a chunk and it would tear the cane, but this is designed to take off just a little bit at a time. Um, Looks like this profile is on the thinner side, so it's not taking much off. It just started taking a little bit off. So after every pass, I'm gonna turn it more towards the minus sign so that the next pass, it takes off a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so you can see it's just taking off a tiny bit. until we get to where the dial that I've been turning is completely loose. And that means that it says its lowest setting or its thinnest setting, and that's where we can stop. Okay, and then after that point, I'm not pushing very hard, I'm just letting the sharpness of the blade take cane off the reed. So at this point, I'm gonna take it and flip it around to do the other side. Lined up here. Make sure it's lined up side to side before I tighten it. And then I'm gonna remember to make this a little thicker again. This was a pretty thin piece of cane, so I don't have to go too far. And gradually lower it until I start to take cane off. And once you've finished, you wanna clean up the shavings, take it off, and you'll notice that the reed is a little bit rough 
in the tip. So you wanna sand it a little bit and then you can go ahead and try it on your bassoon and you'll want to probably blend from the corners into the channels. So once you've done the tip profiler, um, you can curl the reeds right away. They'll make a, a usually make a pretty decent curl. Um, but the surface is still pretty rough and it's not very blended. So the next step that I like to do before I even play on them is to make sure I sand the reed to get it nice and smooth. So this is 400 grit sandpaper. Um, anything lower in number is going to take off a lot of cane, but higher in number is going to take a little longer. So I'd say from four to 600 is probably good for this step. You're just trying to smooth out the rough surfaces. You can also do it very carefully with a file if you feel more comfortable with a file. Okay, so then that's nice and smooth. And already you'll hear that the crow has changed. It's got a little more deep tones to it. All right, and then you can look straight on at the tip. I don't know if you can see. It is a little inconsistent at the tip and it's not totally finished. There's some bumps. So I'm just gonna take my knife and do the very tip to make sure it evenly blends into the plaque to get a nice attack. Okay, because the tip profiler doesn't quite finish the very tip. Completely. You'll notice I'm just doing like the front millimeter, half a millimeter. Okay. And then at this point, I would play on it and see what else it might need. 